cybercrime receives a lot of coverage in the press. We hear a lot about it, but do we know what it actually means? The definition of cybercrime is any illegal activity carried out by means of a computer or the internet. And the threat of cybercrime is bigger now than ever before, due to the number of connected devices and people. So here are the facts. Cybercrime has now surpassed illegal drug trafficking as a criminal moneymaker. Somebody's identity is stolen every three seconds as a result of cybercrime. In 2016, cybercrime cost UK businesses £29 billion. What does cybercrime look like? Cybercrime can take on many different forms. Here are just a few. Theft of personal data or finances. Fraud. Copyright infringement. Bullying. Hacktivism, to convey a social or political message. For example, the Ashley Madison data breach in July 2015. Why commit cybercrime? There are many different reasons people commit cybercrime. Financial gain to cause disruption, to boost a hacker's reputation, to create a diversion and distract from what they're actually doing, to stick two fingers up at the establishment, for a warped sense of fun. The human impact of cybercrime. Being a victim of cybercrime has many consequences. Reputational damage, personal embarrassment, financial and productivity loss. Having our data compromised can also affect us emotionally. 81% of people said that they would feel devastated if their financial information, for example their bank or credit card details, were compromised. So how can you protect yourself? There are some simple things you can do to make sure you're not opening yourself up to potential cyber attacks. Protect your accounts with strong passwords. A combination of up to 12 upper and lower case letters, symbols and numbers. The longer, the better. Never click on any links or open any attachments that you're not 100% sure about. Look at the sender's email address, the name of the attached file, but don't open it, and how they greet you. No greeting at all, a generic sir, madam, or by name. These can all be clues as to the authenticity of the email. And if in doubt, don't. Install regular updates. Make sure all PCs and laptops are protected by the latest window updates. You can have them set to automatically install, but you do need to check that you're up to date. Alternatively, you can use programs that manage the process for you. This is the most reliable and therefore the safest way of ensuring you aren't exposed to unnecessary risk. Use an appropriate perimeter security device for your size business, an advanced firewall. This will stop a malware virus getting into your network. Guest Wi-Fi. Have a separate guest Wi-Fi for visitors, rather than allowing them to use and potentially infect your main network. Antivirus. Ensure that your antivirus is suitable for your business needs and properly managed. Effective backups. Make sure you have a reliable backup process so that if you're affected, you can roll back to a previous clean version of your data. We hope you found this useful. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.